Okay, look, I'm pretty spoiled for beautiful filming locations. I am often finding myself in like the craziest places where you just point the camera and it looks absolutely beautiful. But what happens when you aren't? What happens when you don't have that option? You just don't film? Nah. I'm gonna go over some ways that you can make any location look much more cinematic and how we can use a few simple tricks to turn boring into epic. Not to mention that you can use all of this on beautiful locations and just make them that much more interesting for your videos. I'm currently in this uh, small little beach town in France and I'm gonna be honest, it's not that boring. It's actually still quite a pretty location, but it's still gonna be the ideal place for me to show you guys how you can make boring locations look really nice and cinematic. I'm gonna show you the tricks and tips that I'm gonna use to pull as much interest out of all of this averagey looking place to make something still very cinematic and beautiful so let's get straight into it so what we want to do is give ourselves the best chance of creating interesting shots and controlling the things that we can like light so the first and most important thing that i'm going to do when i'm shooting a not that interesting place is try and come when the sun is low in the sky close to the horizon at sunset or sunrise this way the light itself is going to create more interest in our otherwise average looking shots sun is coming from that way it's often kind of assumed that you put the light behind you lighting up your subject but I think you can create way more depth and interest by actually shooting into the light and shooting from the shadow side if we take this place for example nothing crazy it's just a little street here but I can get a shot here so by shooting shadow side this way it's gonna be a lot more interesting than if I was to shoot this way with the Sun behind me check out the difference between these two shots this one's kind of flat, nothing too crazy, but simply just by turning around, all of a sudden I have way more interest in my shot and it creates something much, much better. No matter how boring your location seems, there has to be some interesting compositions to be found. So think of it like an Easter egg hunt and challenge yourself to look out for any sorts of interest that you can create with your framing and composition. You can do your basics like rule of thirds or leading lines, but how can we push it even further to create more interest? We can experiment with things like framing something weird. A lot of the time you would just walk past something like this little pole on the floor. You can actually create something interesting if you get a little creative. So look out in your environment for any little details, any little things that you think are cool. One of the fastest and easiest ways to create interest is by introducing movement into your shots. So you can do this by doing something like pushes, you can do slides, you can rotate around anything. Regardless of the movement you wanna do, keep the movements nice and smooth and concise. And all of a sudden we've created more interest in a shot that otherwise might look kind of static and boring. Adding some foreground elements to when you are creating moving shots is a really nice way to accentuate the movement that you're trying to introduce. Sometimes, even though you're moving your camera, it doesn't show that well on, on the actual clip. So by having some sort of foreground in there, it just really makes that movement like be much more noticeable and it's also a nice way of introducing more depth into your shot. So foreground is a huge one um, and something I'm always kind of looking out for. A really easy way to create some spice in your shot is by introducing a subject. So get one of your friends to help you out. You can film them walking around or interacting with the environment. If you don't have any friends, that's cool too. <laughs> you can film yourself and get your shots of yourself. This is something I love doing and you guys can find countless videos of how you can shoot solo videos in any location. So that's something we could do. You could shoot a person against a blank wall and make it interesting if you're creative enough. So I hope you guys think that that was cool and that it was helpful. Just remember, even the most boring location can become interesting if you apply these simple techniques to create that video. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Have fun, bye.